Hello, and welcome back to Conquerors of Kulchorn. I'm Bert the Bandit. Now, I've decided to end this little preview with a trip to Wolf's Tooth. So, I'm going to go into Rosigal, visit the port, and purchase a ship, which is surprisingly only 10,000 dinars, of which I have barely at the moment. You visit the port of Rosigal. While you look around, you feel the strong wind from the ocean pulling on your clothes. Many ships are anchored here. You notice the crews are already loading the natives' goods, while a group of men is still discharging their cargo. One of them seems to be in charge of the harbour. So you walk up to him and ask him for help. He looks at you and says, What do you want, lad? Don't you see I'm busy? I can only have a maximum crew of 90, a minimum crew of 30. Interesting. Purchase the ship. Head back. Leave. I've got 78, so no problems there. Set sail. I'm just going to see what Wolf's Tooth's all about. Uh, Dock at port. No. I guess I have to go around there. All right, come on. No surround, no port in the surrounding area. So I can't seem to go there. Well, that's a right bother. That is unfortunate. Anyone here can take more prisoners. Or captured a few prisoners. Well, that is holy. Terrible. Just terrible. All right.
I wonder if I can sell the ship. Hmm. Oh well, I don't know much about ships. Hmm. I'll go after these ones here. Make a little extra money if I can. Surrender a die. Charge. Cavalry, oh dear. Right, here they come. Cavalry, charge. Tough. What kind of armor does he have? I'm going to call these guys Boggles. That's it, right. Move. The Boggle Boggy. Hilarious. <laughs> okay, the archers can charge now. Some decent armor, decent helmet, good weapons. This will all sell for a fine profit. come back to you guys when I go to Godswick Sanctuary. I've never been there before, so we'll see how it goes. See you in a bit. Alright, here we are. Godswick Sanctuary. Let's go see what this is about. You come across a peaceful Godswick Sanctuary. The ser serenity of the scene. Helps you forget your troubles. Enter the sanctuary. Some sort of monastery. 
Ari the Abor Keeper. Greetings, my child. Welcome to the Omiad Godswick Sanctuary. I like to purchase Godswick products. I will show you what goods I have to offer, but you may be better off asking some of the other workers. Mana. Well, that's interesting. I'll buy one. I've heard mana mentioned by certain other characters, including the mana knights. <laughs> I'd like to ask about this place. I will answer what questions I can. Tell me about the sanctuary. This is Omiad Godwick Sanctuary. The sanctuary is a place of worship dedicated to the old gods of Crimeland. By caring for their trees and sharing their fruit in holy communion, we honour them and their creation. The caretakers of the gods' candle trees come in three forms. Arcane sergeants hold a sergeanty with the, with the Lord owning the sanctuary and are the chief proprietors of the sanctuary. In exchange for their services in keeping the tree, they are awarded the right to the land immediately adjacent to the sanctuary. They generally possess a magical affinity, and to earn their tenure of the land, they must demonstrate such powers before the court. Arbor keepers, such as myself, manage the day-to-day -day activities of the sanctuary and its staff, while the sergeants own the land itself and are the highest ranking of us, their duties require they keep mostly to themselves. Thus we are tasked with making sure the operations of the sanctuary run smoothly for them. I am blessed with such a position and I care for every one of the men and women working here as if they were my family. Arbor men make up the majority of the sanctuary workers and are the unsung heroes of the God's Wick. They care for the tree, harvest its fruit and oils, and process its products into mana and winter candles. Without these outstanding individuals, we simply wouldn't be able to manage the needs of the tree. The sanctuary is home to 43 caretakers and was built centuries ago. Tell me about the Godswick tree. Our holy book, The Five Valleys, tells us that when the gods finished creating the planet, they left behind the Godswick trees to allow humans to worship and commune with their creators. The name for the trees stems from the age-old practice of leaving a candle in the window to evoke the feelings of familiarity and unity. The trees are, in essence, the gods, leaving a candle for us to represent their friendship and union with us. All right. Godswick trees can live indefinitely if properly taken care of. They produce what is known as the candle fruit, from which we make winter candles and manna glaze. A popular confection, the tree's resin is carefully harvested and from it can be distilled manna, a much sought after delicacy food stimulant and arcane protagonist. Our nation, Wicked Lands, takes its name from the trees, as we support the largest number of Godswick sanctuaries in the known world. Tell me about manna. Manna is, is processed, is a processed product 
made from Godswick tree, resin. The resin is harvested and boiled in water for two or more days to ensure its purity. It is then filtered to remove granule impurities, and the resulting syrup is mixed with an agent, sheet bark, from cypher trees, usually, usually, and left to ferment for weeks. The result is manna, a much sought after and expensive commodity. It is sometimes eaten as a delicacy, in which case it is usually served with sugar cane or used as an ingredient in gourmet cuisine. It is also commonly used as an arcane protogenist and is consum and as its consumption is thought to enhance the magical capabilities of its user. It can also be used as a stimulant. Small quantities are known to produce a mild high in the user, and larger amounts can result in restlessness and unparalleled alertness. For these reasons, Goldswick trees are, usual, are used for blasphemous ends on the White Isles, where they are cultivated for the manor, which is in turn used to enhance the warrior's abilities in battle. The manor we produce can only be fermented for a week to limit its narcotic effects, as mandated by Wick law. Devious parties make illicit use of highly fermented manner to enhance their abilities and heighten their awareness. The illegal trade of manner, sold as a narcotic, is moderated by the manor knights which act as a paramilitary arm of the underground business. There are also unconfirmed reports of other unfortunate consequences of manor use. Whispers reach us of a sanctuary near Ellen, which has gone quiet, and bands of savage warriors raining havoc on nearby villages. Rumour has it that manor use has destroyed the mines of the arbormen of Ilan, and driven them to commit unspeakable acts of violence against their fellow man. The revenants. I've encountered them before. But as of yet, the rumours have not been substantiated. As far as we can confirm, still, take care, my child. These are dangerous times. Tell me about winter candles. Winter candles are just candles. They are made by skinning candle fruit and removing the seed. We then soak the fruit, have it, shave it into flakes and boil them in oil. We leave the flakes out to dry when they're done and then melt them into a mould to make the candle. Winter candles are known for producing a hot and long-lasting blue flame. They are generally used in the colder months to warm the homes of those that can afford them. During the winter solstice festivals, believers in the old gods will burn a winter candle in their window as a representation of their love for the gods. This practice, this practice symbolically returns the gesture made by the gods when they left the godswick trees behind after the creation of mankind. They left their candles here for us, and we leave ours in our windows for them. Never mind. Well, that was very interesting, but I must be going. We'll take a quick look around the sanctuary, see what I can find about here. Alright. Okay. Hmm. This must be the tree. How interesting.
Well, this seems to be about it. I cannot leave. Why is that, I wonder? How strange. Why can I not leave? Oh, there we go. And that's the Godswick Sanctuary. I think this will be the end of my Conquerors of Kulchorn playthrough. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you again. See you later.